Hey guys, this video is for our kindergarten and first grade team for the last week of September, September week five. And all month long, we've been learning about the story of Joseph. In the first week, Joseph's brothers sold him into slavery. Then in the second week, he was thrown into jail for something he didn't do. Then last week, Pharaoh heard that he could interpret dreams. And so Pharaoh had him interpret his dreams to tell him what was going to happen to the land. And then he put Joseph in charge of this feast and famine that was going to happen. And now we're in the very last week, and our Bible story is called God's Plan. And in this part of the story of Joseph, Joseph's brothers come to him in Egypt to um, because they're having a famine, and Joseph is in charge, and they obviously don't know that this is the same brother that they sold into slavery. And Joseph could have banished them, could have left them out to dry, and instead Joseph forgives his brothers. And um, the bottom line for this week is you can trust that God has a plan. So when Joseph's brothers sold him into slavery, all those many years ago, Joseph could have never seen what the plan was going to be, but we just have to remember that God has this big plan in store and that we can just trust in God's plan. So that is our life app for the month, Trust, putting your confidence in someone you can depend on. And our memory verse for this month is trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. So make sure that all the kids get a parent cue to take home this week. Tells the parents what we learned about and helps us to partner with them. And it also has their tickets on it for the week. So jumping into our leader guide, we would love for you to join us at 820 and 1020 in the garage door room to pray and have donuts. Um, I know that 1020 time has not been going super great because people are still getting out of service and haven't been in there. So we're going to really, really try to re-bring that time together because I think that time of prayer before service is so important. And I love it. And I'm going to really try to make that happen. Then just make sure you are in your small groups at 8.30 and 10.30 ready to go for your kiddos. When service, um, when kids start to roll in at 8.40 and 10.40, make sure that you're making it personal. As kids come in, make sure that you know all of their names. Help any first-time guests to really feel welcomed and invited. And then um, what you're going to do for this interactivity, it's super fun. You're going to have three little recipe cards. And you're going to show them to kids. And you're going to ask kids if they think they know what these recipes make. And they're kind of kid-friendly. And actually, um, at the top of the recipe, um, if you flip it over, it tells you what it is that the recipe makes. So have the kids look at the recipe cards and see if they can figure out what this is a plan for. Um, then when service starts at 9 and 11, you're going to do head, shoulders, knees, and toes. So you're going to lead kids in singing just their basic head, shoulders, knees, and toes song. And you can add variety by omitting something out. Um, by like saying head, mm, knees and toes, knees and toes, head, mm, knees and toes. Um, you can have kids sing in a baby voice, a grandma or grandpa voice, loud, soft. And then you can kind of keep making it faster, 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 faster. And then you're going to sing. So when you guys sing head, shoulders, knees and toes, you know what's coming next. You know the plan for the song. Oh, thank you, Lola. Um, and the people in our Bible story today, they had no idea what was coming next. But God had a plan. So let's go to large group and we're going to learn more. So in large group today, we have a, this Sunday, we're going to have a live host, um, but we will be watching the video for the story of Joseph forgiving his brothers. When you get back to your small group time from large group, you're going to do this thing called according to plan. So on each of your folders, you've got this little Lego plan, and you'll have a baggie with um, these little sets of Legos in it. And they might not be the exact same colors, so you're just going to have to figure out which part is which based off the pieces. So, um, and then you're going to have your kids use this plan. You can kind of say, okay, you two kids are in charge of making the I. You, you know, two are in charge of making the heart. You two are in charge of making the you. And they're going to use the plans with these Legos to build the I love you. Oh, what do you got, Lola? So, then, um, so let's see. Mommy! So, what? Oh, I skipped forward a page. Henry, can you help her get one of these out really quick? Um, so you're going to have the kids kind of work together to build the little structures, help them as needed. And then as kids create, you're just going to use this conversation below to bring home the bottom line of you can trust that God has a plan. So you can say, just like there was a plan that helped you make this cool little creation here, God has a plan for you. And he has a plan for who your family is and where you live and who your friends are and what you're good at and what you're not so good at. Everything about you. God has a plan for you and God's plan is the best plan because he created you and he loves you and you can trust that God has a plan. So then for the memory verse activity, okay, it says on here Cheerios, Blue, Wet Wipes. 
We changed that. I forgot to take that out of the things. Okay. Okay, Lily, take the stickers off. Here. Look, can you get them off? Oh, there you go. So we are not going to do glue and Cheerios. Um, instead, you have, you're going to help kids look up their memory verse and see if any kids know it by memory and they can say it. I think a lot of them do. And then you're going give to give them each this activity page that has a really big trust at the top. And you're going to help them to read that word trust. And you're going to say, so you guys have the word trust on your page. And we're going to have a heart. We're going to add a heart to show that we can trust in the Lord with all the heart, with all of our heart. So then have them use a crayon and draw a big heart mommy, on the page. You might have to show them how. Mommy, and then let them mommy, color it in. Mommy, mommy. Okay, Lola, hold on, hold on. And as they work, just use mommy. this little conversation. below um, to no! unpack how Joseph trusted God with his whole heart. What? Okay, Lola, I will help you in just a second. So and you're going to say, so did Joseph trust God with all of his heart? Yes. Joseph told his brothers, God sent me ahead of you to save many lives. And Joseph knew that even though he'd been through a lot of hard things, it was all part of God's Mommy! good plan. Look, here's the lion, Lola. Mommy. It was all part of God's good plan to save his family. God always has a plan. And the bad stuff happened to Joseph because God wanted to use him to save his family. And God has a plan with his own son, too. Bad stuff happened to Jesus because God wanted to use him to save the whole world. And you know what? God has a plan for you, too. So when things are hard, just remember, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding because you can trust that God has a plan. So then, Lola, Lola, Lola. Oh. Okay, hold on. I will help you in just a second. Yeah. Yeah, can you get the birdie off? There you go. Okay. Sorry. So then to close on a prayer, show kids one of the recipes from earlier and show them the little Lego plan from here. And just highlight that each item is a plan and it helps people to make certain things. And then hold up the Bible and tell kids that God has a plan for our lives. And the authors of the Bible tell us how much God loves us and how God wants us to live and about his best plan for our lives. And then just lead kids in a prayer thanking God that he has a plan for us. So you'll just close it down with a little prayer. Just like God had a plan for Joseph, he has a plan for you too. And whenever we think we're alone or we don't know what to do, we can remember that God loves us and he has a plan for our lives and we can trust him. So then just close down in prayer, um, thanking God for giving us the Bible as a plan for our lives and just knowing that we can trust that God has a plan. So that's it for this week, guys. Thank you so much for leading in small groups. Um, I don't know if you saw on Oak Bridge's page, one of our little friends, Brantley, who just went to second grade, he's been with you guys in kindergarten and first, he told his parents that he knew that he could trust God when he had a scary doctor's appointment and that he learned that at church. So I think sometimes we think maybe in kids' ministry, oh, are they really listening? Are they getting anything out of it? And they are, guys. So thank you so much for what you do every single week to be small group leaders and to lead kids and just to teach kids that they can trust God and that God has a plan for their lives. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for what you do on Sunday mornings. It really does make all the difference. I appreciate you so much, and we'll see you on Sunday.